this time on Tornado Titans. In the Texas Panhandle, the team is locked in a familiar battle with an old storm chasing Nemesis, the Cap. All signs point to it breaking, but as every seasoned chaser knows, the atmosphere doesn't always follow the script. Today, the chase hinges on that invisible lid holding back the storm. Will it shatter and unleash explosive storms? Or hold firm and shut the show down? In this episode, we're diving into one of the most critical and misunderstood features of Tornado Alley's storm season, the cap. Well, the stuff here, this looks like a really concentrated area of cumulus. It's very thermal in nature, very skinny. But man, this looks really good. I mean, it's four o'clock. It's gonna have to happen soon, but this has gotten rapidly better. While waiting on storms to form, there's always other business to attend to, like getting Sam his steps in. No. Well, myself and Sam are watching some pretty substantial towering convection right here in the Texas Panhandle. There's some pretty robust towers in here. A lot of it's really thin thermal stuff. But that doesn't stop it from getting interesting if you can get something more substantial push-wise. There's one coming up that might be more substantial. We'll see, but these are getting pretty close to showing up on the radar. And the, those are the initial blips you see, which then lead to storms. So we'll see if we can uh, see. We'll see what happens. Today, the cap is still holding strong, acting as a stubborn lid on the atmosphere's potential. Just a few thousand feet above the surface sits a layer of dry, warm air. This invisible barrier suppresses the ability of warm, rising air in storm updrafts to break through and continue climbing into cooler layers above. The result? Storm formation is stopped before it starts. This small but powerful layer limits the instability in the atmosphere, but it's not permanent. There are two main ways the cap can break. Either an upper level system moves in and cools and lifts the cap from above, or surface heating and lift become so intense that they punch right through it. Caps are common in the spring across the Great Plains, but they only break on the strongest days, when lift and instability align just right. That's why the biggest severe weather events often follow a familiar rhythm, silence, tension, then sudden explosive storms. That's our stuff. If it's gonna happen, it's that. Not we're blue sky busting this thing. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. Storm is dying. So sad. You can see right there. This storm never grew. It just has never grown. It's right out there, right out the window. Struggling. It looks like all hope is lost today until suddenly a massive tower explodes to the team's southwest. This cell grows quickly. It looks the part early on of being the cell that breaks through the cap. Well, right behind me, we have two separate areas where storms are trying to take shape right now. We have one right here that's to our basically due west. It's that one right there. And then right up here are some more just to our northwest. Oh, here comes the sun again. Time to end that time lapse if it's gonna do that. So let's get going. Time to move. That's my sign to move. However, not all is as it seems. A closer inspection of the Echo Tops map reveals this storm isn't thriving at all. Storm chasers use Echo Tops to estimate the strength of a storm's updraft. Echo Tops measure how high into the atmosphere radar can detect precipitation, giving a rough idea of how tall the storm is. The taller the Echo Tops, the stronger the storm's updraft is likely to be. On days with strong caps, when most storms struggle to punch through, the key is finding the one storm that towers above the rest. That storm is the one most likely to survive and potentially thrive. In this case, the cell meanders and then begins to collapse. That's a clear sign the cap is still winning, putting this chase day in serious danger of becoming a cap bust. Now the first bust of the year always stings. I'm not a fan of them. 
I try not to do this often every year because this is like wasted time, wasted money. I don't have an unlimited budget to chase on and whenever you bust it hurts. Today hurts. I really was hoping for more. But uh, we're going to have possible storms next two days. We're resetting. Moving on. Can't dwell on this one. Got to go for the next one tomorrow. Let's do this. Still tells me no, ain't no future in a promise made. When the rich men take and the poor men fade. Ooh.